Hello, welcome to Spirit Cocktails. I'm your host, Pierre Herrera, and they say I got a lot before me because today is a special episode where I'll be doing one of the original recipes, even well before I even started Spirit Cocktails, called the Castlevania Hidden Turkey, version 1 and version 2. I haven't done version 1, I haven't even tried version 1 in years. This was actually one I created about 2011-2012. It was around, close around like New Year's, around that time period when I originally made it. It was something I made for a party, I tried it out, I was watching this Bartender, I was seeing all the different video game cocktails, and this one came to mind when I was trying to make like a, a recipe based off of a video game. And then, since then... Around about November or so of last year, I recreated that recipe to something a lot better, something that tastes so much more delicious. It's, it's a lot better. Not one person has ever tried that drink that I made and said, oh, it's not that great. Oh, it's like, it's, they loved it. Everybody loves this. Now, this is a special episode. We're doing both of them. Now, both of these are going to be shake and strain, a little bit different from the first one. The second one, straight shake and strain. Let's show you how it's made. First one I'm going to do is the original recipe, which calls for this to be in a smaller shaker because this is a shake on the alcohol, and then last you add the cranberry. So you want to take one ounce of your wild turkey. Obviously, when I originally made this, I didn't have 101. I had 81. So this still has some potency to it, but it wasn't much different than a regular bourbon. This has a little bit more of a kick to it, which I always wanted to try with a 101. Now I get to see what this version will taste like with that one. But the next thing you want to do is take half ounce of your blue carousel, which I still don't even know why I even added this in the original recipe. Granted, this is an older recipe. It's something that I made way back. It changed. I'm still questioning a lot of the different things I put in it. But it's a bit of a history episode. It's still flavorful. Then you want to take one ounce of your melon liqueur. Now, if any of you remember, way back, not that long after I originally started the site, Derek Schumer from Common Cocktails did this recipe. This is one of ones I submitted to him. It was actually my one of my very first recipes done. Not very first period. Obviously, Sky John had my very first recipe, which you will see later this week. Because this is an entire week of classic landmark episodes that created what you see today. Spirit Cocktails. This whole week. But you'll see. This is actually one that he created on the site. But then you want to take one ounce of peach schnapps. Which... I still don't know why I had peach schnapps, but I had a lot of it. I was using it so much, I figured why not? It was sweet. My ingredients weren't as big as they are now. Then you want to take one ounce of your vodka, which I forgot, so be right back. All right, I'm back. Got my vodka. So you want to take one ounce of your vodka. Then you want to take that, add ice, want to shake it up. A little bit of splashback. I think I forgot about using steel ones. Damn, they get cold. Woo! Ow. I'm going to take some ice. Add that to your eyeball glass. You don't want to separate.
You want to strain that into your glass. Then add five ounces of cranberry. Give it a shaker. Of stuff in the way. That's probably making this many cocktails at once. With this much stuff. You ain't got no damn room to do anything. This, hopefully this fits. This should. That's why I won't. I think this is actually the glass that Derek made it in. Like physical size wise. Matter of fact this is a CMC glass that he gave to me. I don't know if you can see it but it has a logo right in the front. There you have it. Castlevania Hidden Turkey version 1, the original. Now let's actually make the second one so we can get a side-by-side -side comparison of the flavor. Which is something I've never done and I'm really curious about ever since I created the second one. So what you want to do is take your second shaker, add some ice. You want to take, remember I put it. One ounce of wild turkey. Now, one thing that's mainly different with this, the first one, as you can see, I shook all the ingredients and then I added in the uh, the cranberry juice, which obviously there was no juice yet, so you're shaking this off. Basically, what I'm trying to do is keep everything mixed. That's my original idea. But this is completely different. But the next thing you want to do is add your blackberry brandy, which one thing I was trying to keep is the idea of a fruit flavor. So it helps fill that out. Hey, family guy. Anyhow. So you want to take about one ounce of that. That's going to add a lot of flavor. Yeah, tasks are done in the family guy game. And you want to add to that one ounce of vodka. Then you want to add triple sec, which is one of the ideas I put with this in. This help kind of substitute like the blue carousel and the melancholy, a little bit of the peach schnapps idea. I will substitute it out. This is also going to be a one ounce. Then you want to take simple syrup which is, I just made myself just half-half, or one-to-one -one ratio of sugar and water. So you want to take about a half ounce of that. Then, add your cranberry juice. Now, alcohol-wise, it's the same amount. It's the same ratios because you get four and a half ounces of the alcohol with the mixture the only difference is you have simple syrup instead of the blue carousel as a half ounce so you're still getting four and a half ounces added to the five ounces of the cranberry juice and this is a 10 ounce bottle and i use five ounces so it's five ounces left so i'm just pouring it in and then you want to do shake it up
pour that in. And immediately, you can tell the difference. Just by look alone. As you can say, hmm. as, you, as I said earlier, same amount of volume. You got nine and a half, nine and a half ounces. So that hasn't changed. But the main thing that's different is obviously color. It's still a reddish color to it. It's a slight bit of a darker color to it. This is more brown. So you're getting a completely different color. The idea I originally had when I made this is I wanted to get a brick red color. So that's why I try I chose like the Melancor, Blue Carousel, all the darker colors mixed in with the red cranberry juice. This bricks are still red, so you get a nice red color to it with a little bit of darkness from the blackberry brandy, which is one of the other reasons why I add that, and the wild turkey obviously. Now let's just try the original since that's something I haven't had in years. Let's see how it tastes. It's actually really, it's still really good. That's what I said when I originally did this video when I was on his show. I said, I'm not knocking my old recipe. It was a good recipe. That I wasn't lying because this is actually really good. So if you want, try the first one. Try the second one. As you can see, the second one's going to be tasting a lot better because it's more of a balance of flavor. But this one, surprisingly, ain't that bad. It's actually very unique how the the bourbon mixes very well with the um, blue carousel and the peach schnapps and the melon liqueur because you get that nice sour bite to it. But there's a lot of oakiness. This one I notice is you don't taste the bourbon at all. This fully hides the turkey, the hidden turkey. Now this one. You do taste more of the bourbon in that. It's a completely different flavor. This you got a lot of sour, some peach notes to it. You get less of a bourbon flavor, more of obviously the sweet flavor to it. This you're getting a lot of the the bourbon. You're getting the blackberry brandy, you're getting the the brandy flavors to it. It's sweeter, I noticed, because obviously you're using the simple syrup and the triple sec because you're balanced. You're adding more sugar to that. But flavor-wise, between the two, now that this is the first time ever I'm trying them back-to-back, -back, I still will go with my, my new recipe. The old recipe was, it's really, really good. I love my old recipe. And it's something that I created. This is actually one of my very first, it's honestly, the very first recipe I've ever created based on pop culture by getting the ideas originally from Tipsy Bartender Show. And it's still to this day, it's a really good recipe. Derek trying his show, he loved it. You know, Doug says it's good for your urethra because of the cranberry juice, but it's still a good recipe. Now this one, it's great. Everybody loves this drink. Not many people tried this. A lot of people went to the party that I presented this with. They all loved it. They all kept coming back for more. But if I made this one during that party... I would have ran out of recipes like instantly because this is that damn good. Now, I definitely suggest if you can try both of these recipes, see how it all began with spirit cocktails, how the whole idea of making pop culture drinks began with this one drink. This is a single most drink I have ever created that started everything you see today, all 400 plus recipes, the video show. The, the artwork, everything you see today with Spirit Cocktails brand began with this one drink. And I hope you definitely got to try it out to see where I have grown from my original to my newest. And let me know what you think. If there's any other recipes you'd like to have or you want to see made, let me know. And also, if you were to have this in a bar, obviously you can't call it Castlevania Hidden Turkey. What would you call it? Is this something you want to order somewhere? Because this can be made in a bar. It may not necessarily be able to use wild turkey. 
if the bar establishment carries it obviously you can but you can use any bourbon and it will come out that much better it'll all come out the same it's really good drink so what would you call this if you go to a bar who knows maybe i might use your idea and patent this recipe but let me know what you think of them and like us on facebook.com slash beer cocktails subscribe to our channel check out patreon.com slash beer cocktails donate to us help support everything we make help keep our brand going help build us to like something that we can be so much greater with but as always drink responsibly